Girl, it's what I heard. Allegedly, it's just the word. Allegedly, it's on the street. Allegedly, I sing to the beat. Allegedly, lee, lee, lee. allegedly, lee, lee, lee. allegedly, lee, lee, lee. allegedly. I can't believe that me and Buttony Ankle have agreed on something. And she does look very ankle-esque. I mean, she's pulled taut, like the skin around a lateral malleus of fibula, which is the long bone that sticks out of the ankle. I could see her being ashy, and she's definitely dry like an ankle, unmoisturized. But she says that reality TV stars need to get residuals as well. And I think it's high time because that way we might get some authentic antics when people are getting more than a Heifer Scott Young chicken gift card. Kim Zolciak in the uh, body cam tapes of her near arrest said, that her husband is not the man that she married and she fears he's suffering from a traumatic brain injury. But aren't you, Kim? Aren't you? I mean, you've tried to convince us you've had cancer, heart conditions, real hair, love. You've tried to convince us of so many things. To me, it reads schizophrenic or disassociative personality disorder that could also come from a traumatic brain injury, which you probably got falling down the stairs because you seem to be constantly drunk. Now, I'm not saying you are always drunk, but we saw you for a good six to seven seasons with a red solo cup in your hand. So when you seem to be that tipsy all the time, a fall down the stairs doesn't seem unrealistic. So we need to talk about your traumatic brain injury because in the words of Nene, where is your scooter? Now we can get Croy's scooter too, but where's yours? Samuel L. Jackson and Spike Lee got into it over a salary dispute because Samuel L. knows his worth. So Spike wanted Samuel to do Malcolm X for scale plus 10. And scale is the lowest you can pay an actor according to the union. So scale plus 10 is I'ma pay you the lowest and then give you 10% for your um agent. And Sam said, mm-mm, mm-mm. And that's the thing, start paying people. That's why everybody on strike now, scale my ass. You see, now scale needs to be a living wage. But that's day, me say 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 day, it. Did it come, man? If I did it come, said he gon' stay home. Try to make a cheaper movie. Did it come, the stars gon' stay home. You're going to pay me what I'm worth. Ooh, I, I should be on the picket line with that one. Dear it come and we gon' stay home. <laughs> this is a silly show. I need to watch Beetlejuice again. They say Giselle Bunchin ain't happy about Tom Brady dating some other supermodel. Giselle don't care. When a woman leaves a man child, unless it's um, on that damn Vanderpump, she don't care. And then this is a pretty woman. When a pretty woman leaves a man, so then Vanderpump people is out. She don't care. She couldn't find a fuck if you put it right in her hand. She don't cur. And Tom Brady ain't all that. Like, maybe 10 years ago he was cute, but I, I, I'm, mm, He looked kind of like Kevin Bacon at this point. Like, he ain't ugly ugly, but... Uh, I'm gonna make a little PSA for y'all. Four people confirmed dead in helicopter crash. Two hikers found dead in Nevada as temperatures hit 114 degrees. Woman dead after apparent bear encounter near Yellowstone. Let's stay our asses inside until the end of the summer. Let's fart around in the parks and fall. It's time to stay home, people. Nature is tough. We got sharks attacking. We got whales attacking. It's time to stay in the house and spray for bugs. Tell your kids the backyard and I don't want to hear shit else. Maybe a park, but if you're in California, watch these parks. We got mountain lions and bears and foxes and coyotes at our parks. Now, if you live in New York, you can go to the park there. You ain't going to mess up nothing. East Coast, you can go to the park. Out here, watch it. 
because our parks and nature are like the same thing. Like, I want a park. I don't want nature. <laughs> There's a difference. But let's talk about Doja's dumbass. She has slammed her fans for giving themselves the nickname Kittens with the Z. She tells them to grow up and get a job. Well, clearly they must have some kind of money coming in to be supporting your ass, going to your concerts, buying your merch, and streaming your music. So clearly somebody's paying for their Spotify. A Visa card is being entered into Ticketmaster. So, so however they get in their coin up, they're giving it to you. And you see they have had to backpedal and pussy pop. A backpedal and pussy pop. Because she on Twitter talking about tickets are now on sale. You trying to be on tour from Halloween to December 13, but you don't want your fans to call themselves kittens. Well, I've got another name for them. The fools. The fools. Because I'd be a fool to pay to see you. But now let's get to some petty marriage news. Kevin Costner's ex Christine is vacationing with the actor's friend in Hawaii. And girl, mm, 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 running your pockets for $139 a month, and she gonna fuck your friend? Child, watch out. You might turn him OJ, but you know, he, he ain't got the moves like OJ. <laughs> but he could hire somebody. He, he seems like he'd hire somebody, so I'd watch it. And the friend is more attractive than Kevin. I'll give him that too. So you got a younger friend with less of a pot belly. It's a saucepan belly. That's a saucepan belly. Oh, I know. Kevin has to be heated. And you stage these photos. Well, he must have been awful to be married to. He looks like morning breath. So get your coin, girl. Get your coin. And in more petty marriage news, we have a photo with Chris Samuels having lunch with Charissi. Now, Chris, why would you have lunch with the enemy? And she is public enemy number one. She's my enemy. She's your enemy. She your friend's enemy. You really gonna eat with her to piss off the mother of your children. And Charissi, I mean, well, you have no self-respect. After all, you went to Karen's mother's funeral just so you could bring it up on the show since you have nothing to talk about. So is this going to be your plot line? Trying to get back at Monique by getting with a man. And Chris, you would go along with it. You want to be entertained by that caterpillar in a sack? You know what? You two deserve each other. If that's what you're about, you deserve each other because you're both lower than low. If she's a caterpillar, then you're a stick bug and you both belong in the garden together, right by the compost heap. Because you obviously both are full of shit. I mean, how desperate can you be to be on reality that you gonna run up after this man's husband knowing he got three kids? But I guess you know you'll never be number one in any man's life, so you'll settle for whatever position you can get. And also, this is a woman that spread rumors about your wife and your child, Chris. How can you forget that? How can you break bread with somebody like that? Because you was real heated. You was real mad. You was getting online. You was doing all the Instagram chats. You had no time for the nonsense. But now you're going to sit and have lunch with the heifer. I'm glad Monique left you. And clearly she's never coming back to a disappointment like yourself. But then again, they do say men like women like their mothers and Charisse is also ugly in spirit and in face. So I could see that reminding him of his own Triceratops-esque mother. I could see that. What dinosaur would Charisse be? I'll let you fill that out down in the comments. Gunica saw some domestic violence at her concert and she jumped down and was going to stop it herself. I am so grateful, embarrassed that man, put his face out so everybody knows, stay away. It was really like watching a superhero in action. Y'all got to check out that clip. One, how are you hitting a woman? And two, how are you hitting somebody at a Monica concert? Somebody just yelled at a woman in a water park, telling her she could not breastfeed because of an unwritten rule. If I'm seeing a newborn attached to a breast, 
I'm not gonna stop a baby from eating. A baby is eating. A baby is hot. Wait, what's not clicking? What is, <laughs> I dropped the baby. <laughs> what? <laughs> I, I, I can't, I, I, I just, oh my God. Oh, that's just, it's a lot of stupidity this early in the afternoon. It's not even three. Oh, Jesus, that's so much stupidity. I, I, a baby is eating. Shut up. The baby is eating. I'm going to let the baby finish. I'm not worried about your nipple. Even if your nipple's out and ain't no baby on, I'm not worried about your nipple. People got to learn how to mind their business. It's a damn nipple. Film at 11. You can see a nipple on a statue at any damn museum. Ooh, when will Barbie be free to stream? Because I want to see it, but I ain't going to a theater. So Disney's probably going to release it for purchase first. And it will probably be on uh, HBO Max or Max by September 2023. That's like um, two months at most. I can wait. I can wait. Ariana Grande is now dating her co-star, Eric, whoever. And I'm happy to hear about that because her ex, Dalton Gomez, I date him. I'm glad he's in California and single. And California, child, that's a whole different, that's, that's straight. Oh, oh, you're straight, okay. It's a lot more, eh, I'm straight, but you know, you're cool. Another one, 14-year-old survives night in Utah Canyon after getting separated from family. Stay your ass at home. Camp out in the backyard. The back freaking yard. A lot of y'all got backyards. You better use it. You better use it. Head on down to Lowe's or Home Depot or your local dollar store. Get some soil. Plant some new plants. Put up a trellis. Get some fake plants to blend in with the real if things ain't growing like they should. Get a sunshade. Put it over. I'm telling you. It's a lot safer. What you do is you give your neighbors tickets to those damn parks. So that way you ain't got to look up in they face all weekend. And if they come back, they come back. And if they don't, they don't. I'm telling you. I ain't going nowhere. I got a pool right outside. That's why it was so important to have recreation on the premises behind lock gate. Well, those were today's top stories from this bottom, so I will see you soon for love and hip-hop. Ain't no love. Ain't even no lust. That's just <sighs> sex because you can. Not even because you should, because you can. Alleged what? Alleged who? Allegedly, Lee, Lee. Allegedly. Don't blame. Don't sue. Allegedly. 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 Allegedly.